Hey readers, how you doing today? Um, I'm excited that you're here with me in your Distance Learning Academy for Foundations of Literacy. I hope you're having a good day and let's jump right into it. So hello again. Um, Today, I asked you all to read the story Children of Blood and Bone. It's on Study Sync. Um, I just want you to listen to it and um, think about it because it's what I'm going to be talking about in today's lesson. So, if you did not listen to it yet, please make sure that you go and listen to it before you come back to this video. Um, and once you come back, we're going to be talking about um, theme still, as that's the skill that we're working on. How do you figure out the deeper meaning of a book? Um, and today we're going to be talking about the characters and how the characters can help you with that. So um, by the end of today's class, uh, you should be able to make a statement about the theme of a text by thinking about the way that a character acts and by asking yourself, what can this character teach me about life? So we can learn a lot from people by thinking about their actions. Um, we can learn a lot of lessons by seeing, observing how other people act and the choices that they make. And the same is true for the characters that are in your book. Um, and so I'm going to teach you guys about that using the character from Children of Blood and Bone. So the way that we're going to do this is I first want you to think about a trait that your character shows. A trait is um, not something that's changing, like happy or sad, not like a feeling, but like something that makes up a person, a quality about them. So in the uh, section that you guys read today, Zeely's trait I saw was courageous. Uh, she was in a fight and um, she was up against somebody that was stronger than she was, faster than she was. Um, and she was kind of, she was like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to fight this person. However, at one point she does use magic to help her get an advantage to win, which is not really cool. Um, it's kind of like cheating. But when I stopped to think about it, I noticed that she did that only after this other girl, Yemi, called her a derogatory name. So after you find a trait, I want you to think about when did the character act that way and why? So for this, I said, she acted courageous after she was called a derogatory name by someone that she was fighting, right? We noticed that uh, it's a courageous thing to do to stand up for yourself um, when you know that you maybe are not as good as the person that you're standing up against. So the last part of this is you're gonna ask yourself the question, what can this character teach me about life? So what can this situation teach me about living life? And here's what I said. Zeely taught me that it is important to stand up for yourself by any means necessary. And this could be a theme for the text. By thinking about the way that Zeely acted, something that made up her character, when she acted that way, and then asking myself, what can this teach me about living life? I'm able to come up with a statement that could be a theme for the book. Now, this is something I want to see you guys doing today in your independent reading. And here's some prompts to kind of help you out. So you may want to leave this open on your screen while you're reading today. As you're reading your book, I want you to find a spot where the character shows a good trait. How would you describe how the character is acting there? Meaning like, what are they doing? What caused them to act that way? Then think, what can the character teach you? What can their behavior and their actions and their choices teach you? What are you learning from this character? The answers to those questions would be something to jot down on a sticky note. So here's your assignment. Please go and read for 25 minutes. Notice and note those important parts of the story about uh, the character's behavior. And then ask yourself, what is the character teaching me here? When you're finished, make sure you do that ticket to leave on Google Classroom. I'm really enjoying talking to some of you on Zoom about your books. I really love to see you trying these strategies. I know that it's gonna help you to become a stronger reader. Remember, the theme is what we enjoy and remember
remember the most from the books that we read. So it's really important to do some thinking about it. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off and I will talk to you later. Goodbye.